Hi, so today I'm going to be making um, the cute dress up apron. And uh, it's really simple. My sisters want me to make it for them, so I'm making the other one for my sister right now. So the materials that you need is fabric, ribbon, it's glittery ribbon, you can choose whatever ribbon you want, measuring tape, safety pin, scissors, and of course a sewing machine. And what you have to do for the fabric, how much you have to cut. So the main piece of the apron, you have to cut 22 inches um, by 23 inches, okay? That's pretty simple, so you don't need a lot of fabric. If you go to the store, you can get half a meter of it. It's not that much. And then for the pocket, you have to cut six by six inches. And for the ribbon, you have to cut 70 inches long. Okay, so why don't we get started and I'll show you how to make this cute play-up dress. Um, apron. It's going to be really cute. Alright, so what you do with the main piece of the fabric, you're going to go all the way around and do a hem. You're just going to do it that way all the way around. Okay? So I'm going to do that right now. And you want to do a zigzag um, stitch because the frays right here, you don't want it to like come out. So zigzag helps it not the fray to come out, and so it won't be all messy when you wear it. back stitch with the reverse so it stays in place and so your stitches won't fall out. Now if you don't know what a hem is that's okay I'll explain it to you. What, you, what it is you just fold it over so then it looks good so then you don't see this part where all the thread comes out. That's the reason why we do it. I forgot to mention this is my first video and uh, it's uh, pretty exciting. I'm going into college um, to take fashion design so I love to sew all the time and uh, I've just enjoyed it so much that's why I'm planning to go into a career for it. I'm 17 years old and my name is Paige so I hope you liked the first video and uh, I'll be planning to make a lot more. Just got one more to do. Now I'll show you the next steps. Now what you gotta do with the pocket, you have to do the exact same thing. You have to fold it over all the way around because it has frays too. So that's what I'm gonna do right now.
and just one more. Now I'll show you the next step. Now what you must always do when you're done sewing this step that you just did, you're always supposed to cut the threads. And you always check at the end of your project when you're done is you always check to see if all of the threads are cut off and make sure there's no loose threads because you want your work to look good. Thread. And I forgot to cut the thread on the main piece. Sometimes you forget, I, I do a lot. That's why at the end of the project you always look around because sometimes you just forget. So now, what you do, you fold it, bad sides together. If you don't know how to do that, you can look at the fabric. There's always a good side, and this is the good side right here, and that's the bad side. So bad sides together. And what you're going to do is, you're going to... Do one inch here and you're going to sew all the way across at the top because that's where your ribbon goes through. You can change it to um, a running stitch now. And now what you do, you sew all, like both together, you sew all the way around. But don't sew this part because then you're closing up the hole and then that wouldn't be good because you can't get your ribbon through. Right. Make sure your fabrics always line up. And then right here, you put your needle in the fabric, then you lift up your foot, and you turn your fabric, and then you could continue. It's way, it's easier that way. When you put your needle in the fabric, it's called pivot. All right, then cut your threads again. Now you're going to put the pocket on, okay? So you put the bad side of the pocket on the good side, okay? Oh, that's the bad side, sorry. So you can place it wherever you want. Let's put it on here. I'm going to put it right over here. Yeah, right there. Now you can use pins. But because I practice so much that I sometimes don't need pins. Oh, see, there's another thread. Sometimes you just miss it. Get over that. 
to bring over. And don't sew the top of the pocket because that's where the notepad and the pens need to go. Then again, you pivot. need to cut the threads again. You always got to look behind too. See how you can see the outline of the pocket in the back? It's really cool. So and there's your pocket right there. And so what you need to do now is the ribbon. So you need to grab your safety pin. This is a little trick that I learned. You need to grab the end of the ribbon and you put the safety pin in. Here's what you do. So at the top of the hole, see this is why we didn't close off because it has to go through there. And so you push the fabric towards and then you pull. I find this trick super easy when I learned it. It was like, it was a miracle. It helped me so much. And see, there's a ribbon on both sides. So you pull, take the safety pin out. Then you just arrange it the way that you like. So you pull a more ribbon over it, make it even. And see it's all scrunched up, so then you pull it. And see? How simple is that? Only takes like 15 minutes. I'm gonna put on my sister. Now, my sisters have something to dress up in. Thank you for watching.